Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and welcome, girl, welcome to Ella's Home and Garden. I'm very excited to be here this morning with Dina. We are back again, honey, and uh, we're ready to put on a great video for you guys. We're going to be using lots of sunflowers and bright colors and give you an example of something you can use on your door, you know, all the way through the summer until you get ready to put that fall wreath on the door and transition for that season. So, as always, any questions or comments that anybody has, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. And any questions you have, leave those down below as well. And Dina will relay those to me as we do the video. I want to start off by saying I hope you all had a fabulous, blessed Mother's Day. Honey, let me tell you what happened to us. i got a story for you all in a minute. But we had a wonderful time with my mom. We went to Olive Garden for dinner. And you know, here in Texas, I don't know about where you guys live, but we're opening back up about 25%. Even though some stores, I'm not going to say any names, <coughs> Lowe's, they are more than 25%. Have you seen, I mean, have you walked, the parking lot is to the road. It was insane. So we went to Olive Garden, had a nice little dinner, and we were supposed to go on a fishing trip this last weekend for Mother's Day, but of course we had cold weather here. And uh, hopefully wherever you guys live, you didn't get any of that record snowfall. I read on the news that they were saying that some places, some states, were supposed to have crazy snow in May. So if you did get snow, girl, I hope you went out and, I don't know, built a snowman or something, made the best of it. But we had a great time and I hope you guys did too. We are still taking it easy though at my house. Me and Josh are staying home. Uh, I don't know how much more of this I could take. Um, but we're staying home and, and just chilling and getting ready for our vacation. Okay. I've been eating clean today. This is week three of no alcohol. No crap. I mean, I've been eating clean every day. I'm down 12 pounds. So I got 10 more to go. And girl, let's battle. We'll be ready for a speed up on the beach. Okay. Volume. Uh, it should be all the way up. Let me make sure that I didn't even check that. I've got more than a couple of people saying the volume. Let me check low. the volume. Nope, all the way up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, y'all. So every week here at Ellis, they offer an item of the week. And this week, uh, I don't know what it is. This week, the floral, I believe, is 50% off. <laughs> Let's hope. I just spaced out. I think it's 50% off. But we're going to be using an 18-inch oval grapevine wreath today. Don't forget that everything you see here in the video can be found on ellatomandgarden.com, which is pinned in the description of the video, along with so many other great things. And you can take today's wreath design, you can replicate it and substitute using different flowers if that's something that you would rather do. So we're going to start out with two different ribbons. I love this pink with like a little bit of burlap, so it's kind of fun, but it gives you that subtlety with the burlap on the edge. And then we're going to use this phone right here. This just screams birthday party or something. But when you mix these two together, look at that. It's really cute. So we're going to use this to create a beautiful bow that's going to go directly on the bottom left side of our wreath. Okay? So we're going to start out. And you know, the biggest question I get about bows is sometimes customers and designers make their loops too small. And if you make your loops too small, it kind of limits you on where you can put your florals and how many and what size. If you put your bow on there and it's too small, it's gonna get lost within your flowers and you don't want that. So, I'm making my loops at least about 12 inches or so. I'm gonna do about three loops of this spun ribbon. I don't wanna to get too much and get too crazy because all we need now is a pinata girl to put that on. So now we're gonna take this and come back underneath it with that. Y'all leave a comment. I'd like to know what y'all did for Mother's Day. What'd you do then? Did you have to work or did you go to your mom's after? Well, I went to my mom's before uh -huh. I had to work, and, but I cooked her dinner last night. Oh, what'd you make? Grilled pork chops, asparag uh, asparagus, black beans, sweet potatoes. Oh, I love them. You ever put red on your black beans? Mm-mm. You've never tried that? Mm -mm. Okay, just trust me. You like tomatoes? Mm-hmm. Next time uh, you do it, just take a can of rotel. You don't drain it or anything. Just dump the whole thing in there, stir it up, let it cook. It's the best thing ever. Okay. So I just did this, guys. I put four loops of the pink and I did three of the spun ribbon. And you know, if you want your tails to be longer within your wreath, then just leave those longer and cut them a little bit longer. So now I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner, but you guys can always use a piece of wire to tie this off. And then we're gonna put it up here on our wreath. Jennifer stayed in her PJs all day. Jennifer, hey, you deserve it. I think you mothers have a hard job, especially this year. Y'all didn't know y'all gonna become teachers, did you? I mean, I bet y'all are all at home teaching, homeschooling. How's that going for you guys? Or have your kids finished for the year yet? I know it's only like the middle of May or almost, but I don't know how that works since they're homeschooling. But, uh, you know, I, I told y'all a story before, I think. I was walking the dog one day, and uh, my neighbor was standing outside at 12 o'clock in the afternoon with a beer in her hand, and I said, Girl, what are you doing? And she said, welcome to homeschool. So uh, I'm sure it's stressful because, listen, I graduated in 2010. It was only 10 years ago. 
I will tell you all this because I know you won't judge me, but the other day I was going to do something like simple multiplication, like doubles. I can't remember how. You know, I've gotten so what's comfortable using a calculator that it's, I can't do it. And plus, I wasn't good at math anyway. Hannah has been remedial so many times. They gave me a certification the first time in a star in my hand. It was crazy. Look how pretty this bow is. So now, oh, honey, look at that trashy tag, y'all. Make sure you take those off of your wreath. Took that off. Now we can put our bow on there to begin. We're going to come over here. Work that ribbon in there. Put it right here. Okay. You want to make sure you attach that and do it pretty tight so it doesn't sag down or anything. Just like that. Had y'all's hair salons open back up? Girl, mine did. I'm going to get my hair cut at 12 o'clock, but they have protocol. You have to wear gloves, and they have to let you in the building one at a time, and um, you can only pay with cash or a cash app. You can't slide your card, give them your card, because I guess of the germs. So I'll say more germs on money than there is a card. I'm I'll throw some quarters at them. But, uh, you know, I hope that y'all are able to get in and get your hair done. Um, I know some of y'all probably got unibrows, and girl, that ain't a good look. So you got to get in and see your hairstylist. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, now we're going to start out by adding some greenery. And we're going to use this beautiful maidenhair fern. This is what we're going to use to basically give us the gray foundation to begin with. And then we'll go back and add in from there. So I'm just going to cut all this apart and begin adding this in. Did anybody watch 911 last night or The Bachelor? Y'all leave a comment. Let us know your feedback. Dina watched 911, so did I, but I also watched The Bachelor, so we can talk about it to an extent. I don't want to say too much because she hadn't got to see it yet. Okay, we're going to start adding in down here. I've got to go get my hair done. I've totally butchered it. Well, you look lighter. What do you do to it? I have now put. Dina's been doing it for y'all. I've now put six boxes of blonde on my hair, and it's oh still my not blonde. God. You're gonna have a fob when you come in next time. You can put too much color on there. It is not blonde. Okay. So I have a story about a uh, beauty school. You got your hair down there? Mm mm. Okay, yeah, I don't. So guys, I my hair, my barber. Of course, everybody has to go to cosmetology school, whether you're gonna be a barber, a beautician, whatever you're gonna do. And so I asked him one time, we were sitting there, and I said, can you tell me any horror stories that happened while you were in beauty school? He said, one time there was this girl that um, a customer came in at the beauty school, which you know, get your hair done there really cheap because they are practicing and learning. And that's something, girl, you need to sign a waiver before you sign your life away. Better get your hair away. So um, this girl came in wanting her hair bleached. And I don't know anything about cosmetology, but I do know because I used to do frosted tips, mm -hmm. backstreet boy days. My grandmother used to pull my hair through that cap and frost my tips. But if you get scalp on your bleach, you can only leave it for, I mean, on your scalp for so long because it starts to burn and a girl will burn your hair off. So this girl came in, he said, wanted her hair bleached and this little girl at the cosmetology school went over there and told her, okay, I'll bleach your hair for you. So she had long, beautiful hair like down to her waist. And um, I think she had her hair already pretty much bleached, but you know, her roots were grown out. So she put bleach on her whole head. I mean, the whole head and just lathered it on like mayonnaise all the way down the hair. And then what she do, it gets better. She decides she's going to have her lunch break. And she leaves her under the dryer for an hour and goes on her lunch break. And while the lady was sitting there like an hour later, she finds somebody and she says, my head is starting to burn. You know, I think you should rinse my bleach off. I am not lying. Scalped her. All of her hair was out and it left uh, whelps on her head. Oh, because she decided to run down to Wendy's to get her a nugget. And her customer was in there with her head burning off. So, that's why I'm going to be at school. That, have you ever heard anything about that? Beverly's asking if something's wrong with the website. I don't think so, guys. EllisHomeandGarden.com. The link to shop is in the description up there uh, in the tag of the video. Jennifer's asking, when you're working with Grapevine, do you prefer to leave it natural in color or paint it? Okay, so that's a good, what's her name? Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, what's up, girl? That's a great question, guys. I've seen so many wonderful designers, myself included, I've tried it, where you can paint grapevines. It's just your <laughs> preference. You know, on a summer reef like this, it'd be beautiful if you painted it yellow or hot pink. I think it would be fun. If you want that more natural look, if you want that more look where you can leave it up all year round, I say leave it natural. But they're so cool to paint for Christmas and for Halloween. At Halloween, say you painted it lime green or purple or hot pink, and you put all those fun glitter picks on there, that's going to be really showy and gaudy which, and fun, which is all about Halloween. And at Christmas, say you painted it red or white, and you put beautiful pine on there with some red berries or a little owl or 
red um, red trucks and stuff. I think that'd be really cute too. So it's just your preference and it depends on what florals you're using and also what season you're using it for. What's that, the, the greenery called? <clears throat> Excuse me, what's the greenery called it's again? It's called Maidenhair Fern, That's the I believe. Maidenhair. And if you can't find it, guys, as soon as we're done, Rebecca's gonna post that shopping list. You can just click on that link and it'll take you directly to where it is on the website. Okay, y'all don't forget, I'm doing this for demo purposes, so I'm not gluing here, but if you were doing this at home, you wanna make sure you glue everything in, because girl, if you get mad at your husband and slam the door, you don't want your fern to fall out on the ground, let the bird get it, because that will not be a good look. Okay, so basically what I have done is I've just started with a basic layer of maidenhair fern. And now we're gonna go back with a different layer and we're gonna use this fern. This is on the website too, and guys, the easiest way to locate this stuff is go to Shop by Department in the left-hand corner, and everything is categorized by what it is. So, Shop by Department, Seasonal, Spring, and then Spring Floral, and I believe that's what this is under on there. Okay, can we talk? Let me tell y'all what happened to me at the Olive Garden. So, y'all know my mom and me. We've had many experiences together. One of those experiences that we've had is at Cheddar's, okay? Where the wine doused her honey and she got baptized in the blood of Jesus. So, we went to uh, Olive Garden. And the way they have it, because we're all operating on 25% capacity, is you have to wait in this line. They have a little guy on the walkie-talkie. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten over yet. And uh, he asked you if you're dining in or getting carry-out. We said dining in. So, we have to wait about 40 minutes, which is fine, because we were meeting her at 4 o'clock, because that's when Morton got off work. And uh, I didn't want to eat that early anyway. So, we had to go wait for 40 minutes. And we were waiting in the parking lot, da 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 They texted us and said, we can come in and have somebody open the door for you because they only allow so many people in the restaurant at one time due to regulations. So, we get up in there, we sit down at the table. You know, before you go to any restaurant, especially if you pick it like it was Mother's Day, she had chosen Olive Garden. You kind of have in your mind what you want to eat. You know, it's kind of like when you go through Chick-fil-A. You kind of know what you're going to order. So, she walked up in there and we sat down at the table and uh, she was so excited because her favorite thing there is portobello, portobello mushroom ravioli. I cannot stand mushrooms. That's disgusting. Ugh. But she loves them, so and it's Mother's Day. So we sit down at the table, and uh, the girl came up, and she says, Hi, how are you all? And I said, Good, girl, how are you? And she said, Can I take your drink for it? And before we even did the drinks, my mom said, I want some stuffed mushrooms. She loves those. We're out. My mom was like, You're out. And she was like, Yes, I'm so sorry, we're out. And so my mom kind of rolled her eyes to herself, and we all kind of laughed together, like, Oh, God, here we go. And so uh, it gets better. So then, they're out of that, and they already have a limited menu, okay, because they don't have a full staff. So, the lady said, well, I recommend um, the fried mozzarella sticks. And I said, are they good at Sonics? Because, you know, a Sonic up with mozzarella, and she said, they're even better. So, mom said, okay, we'll take the fried mozzarella sticks. So, she takes our drink order, she goes to get it, comes back. I'm so sorry, ma'am, we're out of fried mozzarella sticks. I said, girl, you said they were better than Sonic. Apparently they are. So then we all start cracking up laughing. And my mom said, she looked at me and she said, well, let me guess. You're out of um, these stuffed shells with cheese because that's what she decided to eat. And the lady said, we're out. Oh, my God, y'all. We laughed for 15 minutes. The waiter was so embarrassed. And then I had to apologize to the waitress because she said, we're not laughing at you. It's not your fault. You just work here. But we're laughing at this whole thing because you have a limited menu. You think you have plenty of food that's on this limited menu. And you add everything. And my mom said, well, you'll add a salad too? And uh, the lady said, no, we're not at a salad. So they brought our salad. And anyway, they come back to the table and my mom's boyfriend, Keith, wanted something. They were out. So they were out of everything, y'all. So it was the funniest dinner. My mom said at one time she wanted to get up and leave, but I told her no. Because I'd already had what I wanted to pick out. And yes, it is about Mother's Day, but we've got to compromise, okay? So she ended up getting something <laughs> and she ended up liking it. But um, that was the craziest thing. They were literally out of everything. And there was maybe like five couples in there or five groups of people because of the limitations so has that ever happened to y'all it was crazy but y'all should have seen my mom's face it was just too much and then so she decided to go get a new phone this weekend her and keith uh, i'm gonna just tell y'all they go to learn his name keith he uh, they decided to go get new phones so when they we got to the restaurant a little early so i decided to call my mom and tell her we were there and um uh, honey i picked up the phone uh, do you think it called her a symphony started playing i said what the it sounded like I was on hold at the dentist office. You know, like, what is this? And I, you know, it's called a ringback tone. But those were like 2008. Remember those, Dina? So a symphony was playing. And my mom and I said, Mom, what the heck? I said, I thought I was on hold at the dentist office. I looked down at my phone, make sure I wasn't on hold with you. And she said, What are you talking about a symphony? 
girl, the whole symphony was playing. And so it took, we laughed about that all day. And I would call at the restaurant just when she would have and put it on speakerphone and it would play that symphony music. And anyway, she finally got it off, but it was just very eventful. Okay, if you guys just popped on, I'm parched. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and I'm here at Ellis. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great Mother's Day. Don't forget, guys, everything and anything you see today can be found at ellishomeandgarden.com, honey, and so much more. It's pinned in the description. So, we're going to add this green right now just to give us a little bit of a variety. And we're going to add this in the same way that we did before. Again, I'm doing this for demo, but make sure you glue if you're doing this at home. I just about twist my angle and get it right. I was telling Dina this weekend, y'all, we watched War of the Worlds. That's a tongue twister. I've never seen that before. It's apparently an old Tom Cruise movie. Uh, it's good. Okay, Dina, tell me some more movies I need to watch. What's uh, some of your favorite Tom Cruise movies? I've seen the one where the girl's naked in there. What's it called? Risky Business. Um, have you seen Top Gun? Yes. I've never seen it. Is it good? What's it about? Guns? <laughs> tell me. Give me a whole plot. He's a fighter pilot, and he's training to be one of the best of the best. Okay, so I'll put that on my list. What's another one? Look how pretty that is, guys, already with just the greenery. Now, we got so much color to add, but this is a great start. What's the one called with, it, like, five guys? Oh, that's the Outsiders. You told me that's good, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to put one more piece of this. And guys, so far, I've just used one bush of each thing that I've showed you. Cocktail is good. Cocktail, what's that about? Drinks? Yeah. He's really? A, he's, a, he's a bartender. Have you seen Baby Boom with Diane Keaton? I think so. This is not, I don't know, 80s movie. Have you seen Georgia Rule with Jane Fonda and Lindsay Bohan? Yes. It's fun. Lindsay used to be such a great actress, didn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cocaine, I guess, but she was really good. I think that someone in Hollywood needs to give her an opportunity to redeem herself. Did you see her in Lizzie Dick? No. Oh, it was really good, too. Okay, y'all, now that we have our greenery, let's go in here and start adding in our beautiful sunflowers. Did you ever watch Mermaids? Yes. Is that the one with Tom Cruise? I mean, Tom Hanks? No. Share and one on the rider. Yes, yeah. No, did I? No, I haven't watched that one. Only ones I've watched of Share is the witch one and um, the one in Brooklyn or whatever. It's yeah. Called. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, yes. Okay, well, look how pretty these sunflowers are. Girl, you just can't beat the quality, honey, of these. These are so pretty and so inexpensive. Let me tell you the price. Sandy's asking if you oh, no. watch Trains, Planes, and Automobiles yet. No. What's that about? Have you seen it? Is it about, is it about Trains, Planes, and Automobiles? I mean, <laughs> what's that about? They're going to give me a hint. It's crap. <laughs> give me a second. All my movies are running together right now. I haven't seen that, no. But I'm about to watch it because Dina's going to give me an example when she remembers. Mask? No, that was Dab. Is it now? I loved it. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's for Cher, right? Yes. And Sam Elliott. Okay. Oh my God. You know what I watched the other day, y'all? Loved it. Is uh, August <clears throat> of Sage, what's it called? Uh, August of Sage County? No, that's not what it's called. Woman Meryl Streep and, um, Julia Roberts, where she's rude, mean, as a mother. I don't know. Brit, no. What's Bridges of Madison County? Have you seen that? Yeah, that's got, um... Robin Williams? Robert Redford. Hmm, it's not the one thing, no. Planes, also, Trains, and Automobiles has John Candy and Steve he's, Martin. He's dead, right. John Candy. And... I love Steve Martin. They're trying to get home for the holidays, and it's... Is it funny? Yes. Oh my God, I have no pen in here. Okay, what's it called, Dina? Trains, trains and trains. Y'all remind me what it's called because I'm gonna watch it tonight. It sounds good, a little holiday movie. <laughs> oh, have you seen, um, of course, yeah. This weekend, y'all, I had nothing to watch. Me and Josh had nothing to watch. I put on Miss Doubtfire and I loved it. I laughed every time and I've seen it five million times. 
5 million. But you know what, Nina? I told you. Since I saw that Tiffany movie, it's right up there with it. Look how pretty y'all. Oh, those sunflowers. I'm about to die. Okay. Let's add one Sorry, more. Sorry. Bridges Madison Gascar has Clint Eastwood, not Robert Redford. Okay. How are you liking Disney Plus? I finally watched the last The Rise of Skywalker and cried and cried and cried. Oh my god. I had forgotten that they that Carrie Fisher died before they finished filming the movie. You like Star Wars? <clears throat> I love Star Wars. I can't get into that. You like Lord of the Rings? No, I haven't seen one. Me either. You like Harry Potter? I've never seen one. Oh my god. Okay, you got to watch Harry Potter. I don't know about Lord of the Rings. I've heard it's kind of strange, but you can't. Harry Potter's good. You seen Twilight? Never watched it. You seen Fish Heads Grow? Yes, I have. Talk about that on here. Okay, this is Fiji, but um, I love all this. What do you guys think so far? Give me a thumbs up if you like the wreath. Don't y'all. When I, you know, when I was in school, my teachers had a pointer. I've always wanted to do that, to teach a class and just point with this thing. And I remember in the show we watched from school, Anna Green Gables, they had a yard stick. And when the kids would act up in class, they'd make them put their hands down and smack their fingers. They did that when you were in school? No. Okay. They didn't do it when I was in school either because I would smack that teacher back, back with that yard stick. But that's crazy. One time I was in school, y'all. This is a true story. Whew, God rest her hair. So, back when I was in school, they let you burn candles in your classroom. They don't do that anymore. Let me tell you why. We had this girl in our class. Her name could have been Rapunzel. Okay, she had beautiful, long, blonde hair to her waist. Swear, y'all. Keyword, had. Had. <laughs> uh, so, she decided she wanted to go sharpen her pencil. And back when I was in school, we didn't have no, you know, mm, you had to go over there and crank her up, get carpal tunnel, doing your pencil. So, she went over there to crank her pencil up, and she, when she did, you know... She whipped her hair. It was a bonfire. We looked over there, honey. Her hair was on fire from the tip to the top. And uh, literally, the teacher just grabbed her, threw her on the floor, and she had a towel or her jacket on the chair, threw her down, patted her head up. Girl, when she got up, chopped and screwed. You know, could you just imagine somebody getting their hair run over by a lawnmower? That's exactly what it looked like, girl. Just sticking all out. Anyway, she had to wear a toboggan the rest of the year. And let's just say from then on out to this day, she has a bob. And, um, so ever since then, we were not allowed to burn candles in school. But I've never seen it. You thought she had gasoline on her hair. It must have been Aquanet. You know, because back then, big hair was in, and she might have had a little Aquanet on there, and that is very flammable. Okay. We are ready to see this just transition and transform and just, ugh. wait till we add this pink. Okay, this is on the website, too. It's almost made out of a dry material. It's super pretty and fun. Now we're going to add... This time. Did you watch the Disney sing along on TV? Mm -mm. I figured you would. They had some good people. Some of them not so good. I was sleeping. Oh, yes. Well, it was real good. Okay, y'all, look at this pink. This is going to make you want to stop your lawn. It's so good. I just love it. They've already got their spring planting done. My garden's doing so good. Knock on wood or something plastic. Uh, but I've got lots of flowers. I've got my bird feeder on the window no birds have died and they all i had cardinal that comes every day i've named him jerry so jerry comes every day and the other day i had a blue bird and it makes it gets me so excited and i have my curtains or my drapes that hang straight down and i, I hide behind them because so, you know if I, the bird sees me that close it'll scare him so i just hide behind it and i watch him eat and i just i've never seen him swallow any food i just they sit there and chew it up and it seems like it all falls out of their mouth but you know whatever Peace is on. Have you ever been to that drive through safari again in Jacksonville? No. Oh, my God. Brittany says, Aquanet and Rave number four will jack that hair all the way up to Jesus. Yes, it will, honey. It sure will. And it'll also burn you down to the ground if you <laughs> try and light up a cigarette or get in a candle. I mean, it really will. Rave, they still have that stuff? You know what I was thinking about last night, y'all? Okay. I don't know how this stuff pops in my head, but, like, I was laying in bed. And you know what I thought of? Whatever happened to cream savers? Remember those strawberries and cream? Cream mm -hmm. savers? Whatever happened to those? And whatever happened to certs? You know, Josh was saying his grandpa used to always have um, spearmint certs in the roll, you know, in his pocket. And he always smelled them and he always had them. And I looked up cream savers and they stopped making those in 2012. Why? I don't know. And I looked up certs that have been around since the 60s, I think. And um, 
they stopped making them in 2018 because of some type of ingredient in them that was illegal. So, I don't know. But it made me sad. You know, I feel like I'm not old by any means, y'all. And Dean is not either. But I feel like when I have kids or like as the years goes on, my kids are never going to know what Toys R Us is. They're never going to know what a movie theater is because it's going to be gone. They're going to have at-home screenings. They're never going to know what starts are. And uh, so many more things. It's just changing. Ashley so, says you can buy the cream savers on Amazon. Really? They'll never know what um, it's like to rewind a freaking VHS <laughs> and get it hung up in there. That was all we did when we were kids. Or cassette. And they'll never know what Blockbuster is or Hastings. Because I used to love going to the movies, movie store. Didn't you? You read books you like to read? I don't know. <laughs> I just wondered. Okay, look how pretty y'all with that pink. Ooh, okay. Do the pink flowers have a name? These don't have a name. They're called pink flowers, I think. But I'm going to give you all the number, okay? Now, if you go to the Ellis website, which is pinned, and you type it in in the description up there. Ready? 622-78-P is in Palmer, K is in Kathy, okay? And they have this in pink and in purple. So you could easily put purple on this if you wanted it to. Okay, look how pretty this. This is a uh, snowball spray. And these are on the site too. And I'm gonna cut these individually. Because I think we need a little touch of lime green here in the roof, okay? So Kelly, now, I think so too. If you have the drive-ins, you can still go see a movie. Yeah. You'll have that social distancing thing. So Dina, how, when you were a kid growing all the way up, do you always have drive-ins or they stopped when you were a teenager? We didn't have many. There was there was a couple. Well, there's one in Kilgore, but it shows dirty stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. Be a patch or something. Not that I've been. I think there's one in Tyler. Still? Because when I was working security, I would drive by it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So let's back up for a second. So when you first came to work here, you had you were working still, or you had just left a job where you were security? I had just left. So you basically were by yourself all night long, and you sat in this little room, I guess? No, I drove around because we had three stores in Longview, one in Kilgore, and one in Tyler mm -hmm. that I'd have to go check on. So you would just drive all night? Pretty much. You would just make one round to the one in Tyler, or you'd go two or three times? I'd just make one round to Tyler. Oh, okay. And then for a while, you could sit and just chill. I'd go to sleep in my car. You wouldn't? I guess you can bring a book or something. Okay. Look how pretty all that green is popping out in here. I'm going to add one more maybe coming down underneath here. Love it. Okay. Now to finish this off, y'all brace yourselves, okay? We are going to be using this. Okay. I always... I use this in my group a lot, in the diva group, and I always tell them if your kids start acting like little buttholes, you know, you could take this and beat them with it. So I like this, it's multi-purpose, and um, we're going to cut this up into some pieces. Look how pretty, it's like a variegated ivy, not poison ivy, but you know, close. And look at this y'all, it's going to give us some great length. So for example, we're going to come down here, pop that in. Ooh, honey, look at that, just hanging on down. Just like that girl's hair did till she burned it off. Okay, this next piece, come underneath. And again, let it spill down. Ooh, you keep dropping stuff. <laughs> I know. Okay, I've got another one. I'm gonna come up here around the side. Oh my god, look at the fullness, y'all. Okay, you know what else would be pretty in here, y'all? If I can find a, a pick, let me see if I, I'll have one right here. Take a strip of this ribbon, it's gonna give you some long tails. Fold it in half where they meet. About like, okay, like that. And you can take this center part 
and you can use a, oh, you can even use just a pipe cleaner if you wanted, but it's easier if you put this on a pick, which I'm just using these little wooden picks. Christian's asking, how do you just stick them in there? So they're easy, guys. Once you cut the stems, it's just easy to insert them into the grapevine. And again, glue them if you're doing it at home. Okay, so I've got two beautiful tails now. And you can take this and place it down here at the bottom, too. Let's see where I can do it. Probably right here. Okay. And position these where you want. But, look at this, y'all. Now, that's a little too long. We're going to give it a haircut. Cut it at an angle. But, you can curl these, or what I like to do is do a little wave. And then you can let these just wave down. So I'm going to read. I think I want one more to do three. I like an odd number. Especially on something like this, you can see. We'll put this one on the far left side. Okay. So we'll put this one kind of coming over here. Let it hang down. And something I want to do is I want to take a little bit more of this um, maiden hair and put it up here to give me some boldness. Donna says that would be pretty with the centerpiece you made. Yes, guys, I did a centerpiece in my group, and that's what inspired me. I was actually asked to do this because they liked it so much, um, but this would match that centerpiece that I made. And I'm just adding in, just to give myself uh, the proper amount of fullness to match what I have going. All right, so now it's done. Let me show you all up close. So look how pretty. Those long pieces, and on the back you can see how it really benefits the wreath by hanging down. So if you have double doors, guys, ever, and you need to replicate this on the other wreath do it on the opposite side so they kind of mirror each other and they'll be even on the wreath but i love that i think it'd be perfect for summer and you could leave that up until you get ready to transition into fall hold on to this extra green ring in case your kid acts up like i told you you know you never know what you can use that for but guys somebody who was it Lori says um it almost needs a hummingbird on it Yes, I don't have a real one. I have real birds on my porch at home, y'all. They're driving us crazy because I tried to get them out of there like frame of water, <laughs> and they didn't. And uh, they squeak all night long because they're laying babies up there. I'm like, they're nasty. But um, they were up all night in the long one. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see and if you ever want to know more about floral design, then come join my group, guys, uh, Dylan's Divas. It's DylanPalmerDesigns.com, D-Y-L-A-N. And uh, I give four tutorials per week. I give one Q&A every week that um, I get feedback from and I apply that to my schedule. I do a live tutorial, I mean a pre-recorded tutorial every month and so much more. So guys, head over to the website, join us today. I would love to have you and you can find me at Designs by Dylan on Facebook. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, stay safe out there and hopefully get your hair done, your nails this week and you can kind of get back to somewhat of normalcy. But everything you see can be found at ellishomingarden.com. It's pinned in the description. Rebecca will post a shopping list probably right now or as soon as we get done. Therefore, you can click on that and find it on the website. But guys, don't forget, if you're looking for supplies, they've got mesh. They've got mesh uh, wreath forms. They've got ribbon. They've got everything. I mean, grapevine wreaths. Not just what you see, but there's so much more, and everything's on sale right now, honestly. So it's a great time to check that out and use that to your advantage. All right, guys, love you for watching. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Tuesday here at 10 at Ellis in the Garden. Bye, y'all. Bye.